In this tutorial, we will learn about Locked Wasbase. For Locked Wasbase, we will have to create some profiles. For that, we will create some planes. Click on this reference geometry plane, then click here and select this top plane. We want to create planes parallel to this top plane. Then give the distance here. Suppose it is 80. Enter. And we want to create two planes. We will give two here. Enter. Then OK. So two planes are created and one is top plane. We will make it show. Click on show. So now we have three planes. We will create profile. Click on sketch. Sketch. Select this top plane. Then create one profile here. I will create one center rectangle. OK. Then I want to create one sketch on plane 1. Select on sketch. Select on plane 1. Then make it normal. I will create one circle here. Then OK. Again click on sketch. Select this plane 2. Make it normal. Create one rectangle. ok now I have these three profiles I will make the planes hide click on plane and hide now I have these three profiles I want to connect this profile using locked boss base click on features click on locked boss base select the profile first profile second and third it has created the locked boss base using this three profile and this green dot should be in one line otherwise there will be a twist if I shift it here there will be a twist in the output part therefore this dot green dot should be in one line and if you want to make it hollow click on this thin feature and give the thickness here if you view the top view of this now thickness is given in one direction if you want to reverse the direction click here so you can make it inside or outside using this reverse direction tool inside the sketch or outside the sketch if you want to give half on either side of the sketch click on this mid plane and give the thickness so whatever your thickness that will be half on the either side of the sketch and if you want to give different thickness on each side click on this two direction and from here give the different thickness now here it is two and it is one In this way you can create thin feature if you don't want thin remove this stick and click on ok so this feature is created locked boss base then in locked boss base there are some more options are there that is guide curve center line parameter we will see this center line parameter for that we will create one object click on new part ok for center line parameter we will need a path that we will create click on sketch sketch select this right plane create one line it right click then apply the fillet give the radius okay here I want to increase the height 30 okay then okay I have to create profiles. At first, we will create profile at this end. Click on sketch, then click here. Select this top plane. Make it normal. Then pan it. Create one profile. I will create one rectangle here. Center rectangle. Okay. Then I need to create create one more profile here. For that, I will create one plane. Click on features, reference geometry, plane, then select this line, 
and select this point so it has created a normal plane okay then click on sketch sketch select this plane make it normal normal to then create one more shape there I will create one more rectangle here okay hide this plane now I want to connect these two profiles on this path click on features lopted boss base select the profile select other profile now there is this crossing is there for loft to happen this needs to be in one direction now again actually it will need here we will take it here ok then click on the center line parameter and select this path click on ok if you want to make it hollow you can use the thin feature again click on ok now I want to create one more feature using guides then I will just delete the loft and I will create the guide curves click on sketch sketch select the plane from here right plane make it normal then I will create some spline guide splines ok right click select ok and one more I want one more guide here again click on sketch select the plane right plane normal create one guide curve here right click select ok now I have these two guide curves and this profile. Click on features, locked boss base, select the profiles, this sketch and this sketch. And I'll align it properly. This green should be on the top. Drag it by pressing the first button. Then click on guide curves, select this guide curve and this guide curve. It has created the part, click on OK. This way you can create the part using guide curves. Same way if you want to create the lofted cut, we will open the first part. In this we want to create the lofted cut. For that again we will need to create the profiles. We will create profile on plane 1 and this top plane. Click on sketch, then sketch, select this top plane, make it normal to and we will create one suppose circular profile here ok then again click on sketch then select here plane 1 make it normal normal to then we will create here one rectangle center rectangle ok now we want to cut this shape from this shape click on feature select on loft cut select profile this profile and this profile and click on ok so it has created the lofted cut in this way you can create lofted cut and all the other options are same you can use the guide curves also you can use the center line parameter also same we are we have used for lofted boss base so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here